Hey guys, it's Boris Schlossberg from BK, and I want to share with you the main thing I do at BK every single day that makes our members money. I trade live every single day, not once, but twice. On Tuesday through Friday, I trade the New York Power Hour starting at 9 a.m. New York, which is 1400 GMT. And then on Monday through Thursday night, New York time, 8 p.m. New York time, I trade for one hour, which is 0, 100 GTC on the Asia Power Hour. And this strategy that we trade has been very successful since we started it. For example, you can see that at the end of September, when we started trading this full time, the strategy has managed to generate 14,000 pips or about 14% on a $100,000 account, a little bit actually 15% on a $100,000 account almost as we've gone into the end of this year. And it's also been very consistent. There's only been four days where we've had minor drawdowns against the strategy. So what is it that we do? in our live trading that makes this such consistent and excellent success. It's a strategy that I designed, it's called Bounce. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that and hopefully you'll enjoy it and come join and trade with me anytime you can. So Bounce is basically a scalping strategy set up on the one minute charts against some of the most liquid instruments in the world. The rules are very, very simple. We basically have a one minute chart and we look for price to hit the high or the low of the day against a 24 hour daily cycle. We have a special bounce indicator, which everybody in the uh, membership gets. You can apply that on your trading view charts and you'll see it dynamically paint the highs and the lows and then repaint them as they get higher, as they get lower. But the strategy is, I said, very simple. Essentially, we need three things. We need the high to be made, then we need a reversal candle. So if there's a high to be made, then we're looking for a red candle to complete on a one minute chart. And once we get that red candle, we'll go short. Conversely, if we have a low, we're looking then for a green candle to be made. And once that green candle is made, we go long. So we're looking effectively for a small bounce. That's the name, that's the name of the strategy. Now the strategy is traded, as I said, against the most liquid instruments in the world. We trade this against the US 30, NASDAQ, oil, gold, and crypto with the following risk reward strategy. We're always using a one-to-one -one risk reward. This is for CFDs, um, and I'll show you in a second what we use for our futures. But for CFDs, we use a one-to-one -one risk reward strategy with spread included. So obviously it's actually a little bit more than one-to-one -one because we have to account for the spread. But basically the stop on US 30 is 20 points, 20, uh, target is 20 points. On NASDAQ stop is, is 10, 10 to start, stop target. On oil, it's a 20 cent risk against a 20 cent profit. And on gold, it's a $1 risk against the $1 profit. On cryptos, it's 200 against 200 on Bitcoin, $10 against $10 on ETH, and 50 cents risk, 50 cents profit on Solana. So as you can see, very tight, very liquid instruments, and spread fully, fully accommodated for. So these are net, net profits that you saw in that picture that I just showed you a little bit earlier. Now, if you're a US trader, your risk reward ratios actually have to be a little bit better than one to one because we have to account for commission and a little bit of slippage. So, what we do on the US side, if you're trading uh, mini futures or trading futures in general, basically we set our targets a little bit differently. On the Dow, which is the YM, the stop is 20, but a target is 22. On the NASDAQ, the stop is 40, but the target is 44. On S&P, the stop is 12 ticks. This is all in ticks, obviously. And the target is 14. On oil, the stop is 20 and the target is 22. And on gold, the stop is 10 and the target is 12 ticks. We do not trade crypto because crypto is just not liquid enough on futures to be able to be traded. So uh, against these five instruments, we're looking for a little bit better than a one-to-one -one edge because we have to, as I said, account for commission and slippage. And that forces us to be um, a little bit more um, skewed towards a positive risk reward ratio. But regardless of whether you trade CFDs or futures, this has been a very simple, easy strategy. Let me show you the basic setup of how it works. So here is the basic uh, short setup. The strategy here makes a day's high, then it sends, creates a reversal candle like you can see here in NASDAQ. And then at the close of this reversal candle, it's very important we wait for the red candle to close to be sure that it's indeed a red candle. 
and that it closes as, as, as close to the lows as possible, we then get short with a 10-10 target. And usually it resolves within one or two minutes and it's done. It's a super easy trade. Then on the opposite side, when we hit the lows, the day's lows, we're then looking for a green candle. Once a green candle is formed and closed, we get long. And again, we trade that for 10-10. As you can see here within five minutes, the trade is resolved. So it's a very, very simple structure of what we do. But of course, if that was it, um, we would never be able to be as consistent as we are because there's a little bit more to this than just a single entry, single exit structure. This is what makes our strategy so unique, different, and profitable. If we get stopped out, which happens quite a lot because you're not always going to get the first bounce, we don't quit on the trade. We actually wait for the setup to repeat itself. In other words, we get stopped out and then we wait for the prices to get back to the lows, create another green candle and go back into the trade again. We wait for the setup to reestablish itself and go back again and not just once and not just twice and not just three times and not just four times. We are willing to test our thesis up to eight times in an expansionary manner, in an exponentially expansionary manner. We're doubling our size every time we enter into a trade. So we start out with whatever is our basic um, size, whatever is our level one, and then we double that. And if we get stopped out, and then we double that, and we stopped out. And we do this process all the way up to level eight. So if we start out with one unit, by the end of it, we actually have a position as large as 128 units at level eight um, in the direction that we're trying to resolve our uh, structure. But two things you need to um, appreciate. First of all, we stop ourselves out every single time if the trade doesn't work out. We do not carry um, any inventory in our position. So in that sense, this is absolutely not a martingale strategy. This is what makes this strategy so unique, different, and powerful. We do not carry dead debris on our books. If a trade doesn't work, we let it go. We stop ourselves out and we come back and we reestablish itself. This is really what's called progressive betting. And the break even on this is actually astoundingly high. In other words, we have to be correct 255 trading cycles trading cycles, remember, not just trades, because we can get stopped out on level one, level two, level three. But if we, get, if we make money by level four, that's one trading cycle that's resolved. Um, so the mathematics on this is that we have to win 255 trading cycles against one possible level eight loss in order to break even, which sounds extraordinarily skewed against us, but is actually not. Because in reality, the realized losses for this particular strategy are more like one out of a thousand trade cycles. It's very, very similar to how insurance works. You know, if, you, if you're buying term life insurance, you're paying $1,000 for a million dollars worth of coverage. And if you're on the opposite side and you're saying to yourself, why would an insurance company uh, be willing to pay me a million dollars in losses that's their payout against just a thousand dollar premium against me. Um, and if you thought that this was a common occurrence, in other words, if you thought, you know, one out of a hundred people collected life insurance, or maybe even one out of a thousand people collected life insurance, you would say that's a sucker deal for the insurance company. But because of the way term life insurance works and because of the way our strategy works, the odds for the insurance company are extraordinary. Actually, the real life odds for term life insurance can be as high as one out of 60,000 payments. So imagine you're getting paid 60,000 times, times a thousand, that's $60 million against possibly $1 million payout. Now we certainly don't have enjoy those kind of actuarial tables because markets are just not as kind, but that's the general idea. We basically harvest much, much more profit than we have to pay out in losses. And that's the critical thing what makes bounce so successful as you can see in the PL that I just showed you. So that's really how we control risk. We control risk through one very, very, very important variable, which is size. That's, that's our secret sauce. We never let size get out of control. And what I mean by that is that essentially we start our size at just one 
tiny, teeny weeny little basis point. In case you don't know what a basis point is, that's one one hundredth of one percent. So to put that in, in sort of monetary terms, we have a hundred thousand dollar account. Our take profit per trade is just ten dollars. That's one one hundredth of one percent. And a hundred thousand dollars, a thousand dollars is one percent, and we're looking for one one hundredth of that. That's a tiny amount of profit that we're looking to get on every single trade. But by doing that, by doing that, our maximum loss, the maximum that we can lose if we get up to level eight and get stopped out at that uh, worst case scenario is just two and a half percent of our account. The worst we can lose cumulatively, cumulatively, in other words, we lose level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to level eight, our total cumulative loss is going to be $2,550 against a $100,000 account. That's very, very manageable. And by the way, you could reduce the, the math to $10,000 and uh, you know $1,000. All of this is completely reducible because if you're trading CFDs, everything can be traded in tiny enough size and sized up properly so that you don't have to worry about um, the proportions. In addition to which, of course, making one basis point per trade is not, is not really interesting. But which, what we try and do is make 10 successful trading cycles per day. So basically, we trade one hour a day and try to make 10 basis points, one tenth of 1%. Now, again, you may say to yourself, geez, what's so special about that? Well, you'd be amazed at how 10 basis points can add up day after day after day, because 10 basis points per day works out to 250 basis points per year in 250 trading days, or 25%. And that's in the most conservative, the absolute um, controllable risk fashion that you could possibly imagine. There are many traders in my room who trade at higher leverage. For example, if you wanted to trade at, if you were willing, willing to risk 25% of your account, um, in other words, trade at 10 times the size, instead of trading for one basis point, trade for 10 basis points a trade and try to make 1% a day, then you have a chance of getting 250% on your capital at the end of the year. So more than doubling your capital in the same fashion. It's just a matter of what kind of a risk profile you have. But regardless of what you do, once you understand the proportions, when you, once you understand the ratios, once you understand the actuarial risks here, it becomes incredibly enticing and very interesting as a trading strategy. Now, this is how we achieve our small results. As I said, we trade one basis point per trade, 10 basis points per day. Sometimes we do a little bit better, and that's why we, we, we have better results. And the trading gods have been very kind to us. As a result, this is how you achieve an incredibly smooth, consistent, fashionably uh, profitable trading strategy. So Bounce has the objective of being a very, very objective strategy. Unlike using indicators, unlike using interpretive um, technical analysis like highs and lows or Fibonacci or Elliott wave. There is literally nothing interpretive about our strategy. Highs and lows are absolute. They're definitive. They're universal. There is no argument with an, any market chart as to what is a high and a low for that particular day. That makes our strategy incredibly repeatable. That's why so many people in my room are able to profit with me every single day. There is no interpretation. There is no kind of change of focus. There's nothing going on in this strategy that nobody else except me can do. Everybody can do it. Everybody sees the same thing. Everybody can act in the same fashion and everybody can act at the same time. And of course, because the strategy is known ahead of time, because we know when the high is made and then when we anticipate uh, the red candle or the green candle, we can pre-position ourselves and enter at the proper moment. Again, none of this is uh, sudden. None of this is uh, personal. None of this is kind of interpretive. That's what makes the strategy so powerful and so controllable. So the strategy in all its facets is very objective, highly repeatable, and totally controllable. It eliminates the huge amount of uncertainty that most people have in trading, and especially eliminates the uncertainty in day trading by giving us multiple attempts at resolving our trades. Instead of just assuming that every one of our trades is going to be successful, we accept the fact that many of them will not. But if we don't quit, if we stay focused, if we stick to our methodology, 
we're able to resolve every single one of our trades into positive territory and continue growing our account. That's what makes Bounce such a powerful, interesting day trading strategy. And I hope you guys join me in BK Room, either for Asia or for the New York session, and enjoy trading with me like everybody else in the BK. Borscht Osberg, over and out.